I am Ray Crusoe. I am one of the advancing computer science professors here at University of Advancing Technology. So SIP is the Student Innovation Project. UAT is unique in that before you can graduate, you need to innovate a project, and that can be any one of the subject areas that we cover here at UAT. So it doesn't have to be within your major. If you are computer science, but you would really like to do a digital video project, you can go ahead and do that. As far as the subject, it can be really whatever makes you happy. In the role of the student's SIP journey, I am one of the subject matter experts. So while students are working on their SIP, they will meet with me and the other subject matter experts from advancing computer science, artificial intelligence, and human-computer interaction. I think SIP is such a great opportunity for students for growth. They take a project from the beginning, from the planning stages, and they pitch that project to their subject matter expert, and then they get the project approved. Maybe they have to make changes to get it approved, and then they go ahead and develop it. And that whole process will really help when you get that first job. Some students after the SIP have the opportunity to meet with investors and potential backers that will get the product to market, which is just such an amazing opportunity. Even if that's not the situation that works out for every student, students can work on these projects on their own and they can improve them and they can take them to market and it really can help give you that experience. It's a great portfolio item. So SIP can be a very intimidating process for some students. Some students think it's the best part of UAT and some are kind of dreading it. And I'd say to the students who are on the dreading it side that um, it's not anything to be afraid of or uh, worried about. It's a process that is so well set up and there's so much support. If you have an idea that you've been thinking about, if there's like a video game and there's something about that video game that annoys you and you want to fix that and that is your SIP idea, that is great. And also um, if you're kind of on the other end of that spectrum where you don't have any ideas in mind, we will help guide you through the process. We're meeting with a student right now who isn't quite sure what to do for um, their SIP. And so we are bouncing ideas off of them, like what are some of the things that you like to do? What are some of your skills? What are your interests? And those really help to guide creating a SIP that the student will enjoy. Think of SIP as a marathon and not a sprint. And by the end, you'll feel so proud of yourself because you've really taken this idea and then made something come alive from it. <laughs>